Hello and welcome to this first series of Apache Camel and Java. So in this series we are going to see um, how we can create a simple spring uh, camel project and then convert that project to a Java DSL. We're going to learn to create a simple route and learn about um, your first very first processor and what you can do with that. So this is how this how we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to use a, a simple arch type uh, project using um, using your uh, Apache Camel. Then we're going to as soon as the project is created, we're going to try and run the project. And once the project is uh, executed, we'll see that the project first uses Camel XML and not your Java DSL. Then what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to convert this project into a Java DSL project and execute that project. And once we have converted an XML to Java DSL, then we're going to add our very first uh, processor to edit a message, to log if you want to do any sort of logging or processing, and we're going to run the demo processor one more time. So let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to create an arch type of uh, camel arch type spring. And um, it's going to click next. I'm going to give a group ID com Dinesh Tut and uh, I'm going to provide a artifact ID now. Um, let's call it a spring um, camel cam cam I missed it um, spring cam camel tut one and I'm going to click next now. And uh, here I'm just going to uh, choose uh, my Maven type from my tools Maven because it has the Wells Fargo settings in there. And I want to leave it at uh, Spring Camel Tute 1. I'm going to create in the app Spring. And uh, now while it is building the project, trying to download the default file that are coming in. Uh, I'll click Enable Auto Import. So it gets everything from there so while it is doing everything else let me walk you through the pomlet xml so now you'll see that there is a camel core log 4j api uh, this log 4j core uh, then in the testing there's a camel test spring i'm going to bring up the camel test spring sometime later in under tute but um, for now um, let's take a look at some of the plugin um, these are the common plugin but one plugin which I want to make sure you understand is the camel maven plugin this is going to help us um, run the project using command line so um, uh, the command line is uh, maven camel run that we're going to use so that's all there is in the pom.xml in the default that comes in so for this project actually um, what's going to happen is you're going to take a look at um, uh, two messages message one and message two dot, dot xml and our and our uh, our program is going to uh, transfer uh, these two file in two separate folders so if you would have seen one of them is called tampa one is called london uh, as a city name so if you look at the camel context dot xml there is a uh, we're going to transfer we're going to pick up the file from source data folder and we're going to say that if the file is of type london then move it to uh, folder uh, target message under uk and if it is anything else move it to target messages others so basically when the program is going to run we are going to uh, the the camel route is going to pick up the messages from the src data folder and we'll try to put them in two separate folder if the if the city is london it's going to move to uh, uk otherwise it's going to move it to the other so let's try and run this now and i'm just going to create a maven runtime run configuration so instead of install i'll simply say camel run and let's hit ok so as soon as i'll run it's going to call the routes <clears throat> and uh, try to move the file to different folders. So um, uh, in the log message, you'll see that I'm trying to 
print if it's a UK print UK message otherwise uh, print other message so I see the print so it means that the files have been transferred so now let's take a look at this so I said uh, move the UK file to UK folder and others file to others so if you see the files have been moved now message 1 in UK and message 2 in the others folder so now that we have seen how to create a simple camel spring arch type project and we tried and to run the uh, sample example where we try to copy the file to UK and an others folder that is all good but uh, the problem is that uh, for our gateway API we are trying to use Java DSL so now I'm going to show you how to convert uh, an uh, a simple camel XML project which just wrote and converted to Java DSL project the process is very simple I'm going to walk you through um, step by step so let's go ahead and build our um, route builder so basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to convert this whole XML route into Java DSL now to do that um, let's create a new class and let's call it um, my routes okay now to write a route all you have to do is uh, you have to extend um, route builder class so we add that and we're simply going to say implement method so this route builder has a method that you need to override that's called configure and in the configure what we do is we have to basically define this whole thing that what am I going to do so the first thing that in the XML is the from so let's let's try to say where it's going to pick it up from and in the from it accepts a string uri and what is that uri going to be that uri is going to be what is defined in our xml so what we're telling is pick up the file from source data no op equal to true now this no op equal to true um, if this is set what's going to happen is it's not going to actually remove these two file delete it and uh, move it to output folder it's just going to leave it as is and reason I'm leaving it here is um, that uh, because I have to run this uh, example multiple times I don't want to be copy pasting file after the program has run from my target um, messages folder back to the data folder to make it run again if I make it to false these two files over here will be deleted and will be copied under um, message others UK and I will not be able to use it again I'll get a file not found exception so that's why I'm leaving it as true right now but you can play around with it put it to false and see how it behaves so anyway so I'm going to copy this uh, string in here and basically now I've just told that uh, uh, my source is from file SRC data so I'm just going to dump it as is okay so now I, I have the file what what happens next what's there in the camel context XML so next thing I need to tell is um, there's a choice command which is something similar to uh, mule choice uh, where you make different kind of decision so if you look what it's doing is we are saying uh, choice when x path person city equal to London so if you look at the messages uh, basically it's doing an x path for person city what is the message London over here so I'm saying that if if in the if you read the file the message file and uh, uh, x path has person city equal to London log the message and then put it in file folder target message UK so that's exactly what we're going to do and I don't keep all these patterns in my head so basically um, all I know is if I do choice um, I just go into documentation and if you have good memory you can uh, you know mug it up but I prefer on documentation every time I forget something so let's take a look at its documentation so this this pattern the choice pattern is actually nothing but a content based router pattern which I think uh, many of the APIs are uh, using in mule so we're going to learn this in another tutorial in detail about different kind of patterns but for now just under the, understand this is a this is a, a content based router meaning uh, based on the messages you send it to a different path so um, it says that uh, this is how it's used you provide a choice when so here they're using reading it from the header and doing something with it uh, and then there is a otherwise 
So let's use it and put it in our code now. So I'm going to dump it over here and say um, choice. Next thing is I need to provide when. And what do I need to do in when? So all that stuff is already defined for me here. So all I'm saying is uh, when x path person city equal to London. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to say when dot x path and uh, person city equal to London. So I'm just going to define this whole thing as is. Then I'm going to send to Oh, it says log as well so let's log the message log as UK message and then to file target okay so that's that's it for the first choice now are there any more choices the there are no more choices uh, everything else goes to the other let's put other otherwise now otherwise uh, it's going to log again and in the log we're going to dump it as other message if this city is anything other than london and put all of these in folder target others target messages others okay and that's it that's that's how we just converted our whole um, camel context uh, xml into uh, my routes right okay so now that we have it what we need to do is let's get rid of this right and um, that's all there is to it now but the problem is how are you going to invoke your routes now so to for doing that you have to uh, use the route builder and let's it's we're going to tell that which class is going to be referred as route so we're going to say uh, reference out as um, uh, let's call it Dinesh route you can see I love my name so much <laughs> so um, let's define this and uh, uh, let's create a bean at the top and in the bean I'm going to say um, name equals Dinesh route and uh, and uh, let's provide a class uh, class is uh, com dinesh dot tute my route so um, now that we've defined this um, that's all good now but uh, other thing that we to tell is uh, how do we run this thing now all right let's run this thing now Okay, let's check it. So my messages have been copied back, as you can see. So if, if you think that um, you might have missed something, uh, what you can do is let's go and change the data in here. Let's say name equal to Dinesh Aurora, and I leave this as London. And uh, let's clean this folder again. All right and uh, let's rerun this okay so looks like it's copied again and let's confirm if the file name is the new file that we applied so we made a change in the uh, London file and as you can see that the same file has been copied now okay so now that we have added um, DSL project we converted an XML route converted DSL project uh, now let's take a look at the last part of this uh, session 
that is adding a processor to edit the message. So what exactly is a processor? So processor is nothing but it is used to implement um, consumer or message exchange or to implement a message translator. Um, it didn't make sense to me when I first read this Apache Camel when I was learning Camel. Um, but to relate to my previous experience, if you guys have ever used, uh, uh, you know, your regular Java servlet, it would make sense when I say the word filter, Java filter, the, your servlet filter. So think of processor as a servlet filter where you are wiretapping in an incoming message and trying to translate it to something else. So another simple example is say um, you are hijacking your uh, neighbor's phone line or your own phone line for example listening to your kids or what, whatever think of any illegal way. So you are wiretapping a message trying to listen what is being said. Okay, so that's exactly what a filter does. Um, basically, what you do is uh, whenever you have a message, say uh, incoming messages, for example, an XML, and you want to call your backend where you have to provide a, a, a request as JSON, you would uh, tap it in using a processor and convert an XML to a JSON before you pass it on to the next step that is calling the backend so let's see how we can implement this so to implement a processor you just define your uh, uh, your class and implement the processor method and you have to implement a method called uh, process which uh, takes parameters as, as exchange exchange is nothing think of it as a uh, uh, HTTP, HTTP tunnel where messages uh, go to and fro and exchange object is uh, the object body which contains your your protocol your message your headers and all that stuff okay um, we'll, we'll take take a look at a deeper example a uh, little later in another tutorial but for now um, we're going to use a very simple way of showing how to use a processor and uh, we're going to just uh, print some values so there are multiple ways to use the processor now that you've defined the class, how are you going to add it in your route in there? So one way is to define it as a spring bean and then uh, call it like you would call an, any spring bean. So here um, in your camel context, you can define your bean ID, provide a bean ID, provide your class, uh, like over here I've defined the my processor class. And then you simply provide the uh, reference to that class, uh, reference to that bean. So it's called my processor here and the bean ID is called my processor. I'm going to just call it this way. Other way to call it is um, you simply say process new my processor. That's a second way of calling it. And a third one is if you are using camel registry, which is um, an advanced topic we'll cover sometime later in other tutorial, you can simply say process ref and call the my processor. So basically uh, this process ref is exactly equal to this piece to my processor where it where you are pulling the value of my processor from the bean okay now let's implement it and see how it behaves how to implement this in our example so what we're going to do is we are going to create uh, two processor one is a start process and another is going to be a end process and we're simply going to print out that uh, the code is has reached the start processor and code is in the end processor okay so let's define the two classes um, oh before that uh, let's define two beans first i'm going to show you uh, the way uh, how it's done in spring bean and if you're not using spring how would you do it okay let's define bean name and we're going to call it as a uh, start processor Just going to define com -ish. Uh, let's call this as start um, start processor all right I think I've already created before I started this so but never mind I can delete this one and I'm going to name the other processor as end processor. Okay, so 
So let me delete so that I can uh, do it from scratch. Right, let's let's um, create the two classes now. Okay, let's create the second one as well. Right, so for my start processor, uh, we're going to implement the uh, processor interface from camel okay and we're going to implement the method process which uh, comes from exchange now this exchange method um, you know as the message is flowing through your routes the exchange object is always available so when when you when we're going to write process and we're going to call a processor the exchange object is automatically passed from your route so you don't have to worry about how to get the exchange message and dump it in that it's going to get called automatically so let's do a simple uh, print here so let's say um, entering the um, start processor I'm just going to copy this I'm lazy that way and we'll dump it in end processor as well implement all right so now we have defined the start and end processor let's uh, configure them in our route so where do you want to put it in i want to put it right after uh, from as soon as i'm uh, as soon as the file is picked up I want it to be um, entering my start processor. Okay, so let's uh, let's do it the right way. So, so now, like I said, there are two, two or three ways to do that. One is um, to pick up directly from the bean, like we have done. So let's do the bean way over here, and in our bean, we are calling it as a start processor. So I'm going to just copy the name. And then I want to um, add the end processor towards the end. And for my end processor, I'm going to show you another way of doing it. If you don't want to use um, beans, you can simply call your uh, new end processor. So there are two ways, uh, basically three ways. I'm third way is exactly the same as this process. So one is that you pick it up from the bean that you've defined in your camel context or you can simply create a new uh, new end processor over here and pass it on all right so let's see um, how it behaves now i'm going to just clean the project one more time um, and now now you understand why i added that no op equal to true i didn't have to copy this uh, message again and again but let me show you uh, what will happen if if uh, if I had left this noop equal to false okay all right so let's clean this one more time and then we're going to run it okay so if you'll see the message um, every time it it ran it started it entered the start processor and it got the UK message. Then it entered the uh, start mess uh, start processor again for the second time for reading the next message. And it printed the other message. And when everything was over, it uh, printed the last one, entering the end process. So we have seen that um, uh, start processor and end processor how how they work, right? And let me show you something now. So now if you will go in here, you'll see the messages have been uh, copied again. And what you will see here, here is the two files under SRC data, they are gone now. You, you'll see this dot camel this. Now if I, if I run this thing again, um, it won't do anything because it's not going to find any files. So, so you see, um, it didn't find any files over here. No op equal to false because 
uh, all those files they have been uh, moved or kind of marked as uh, read already read and if i had to uh, redo this whole thing i would have to um, remove from the dot camel file and i and put it in message one and message two so um, th this dot camel is not uh, like a backup file it is it is just that these files are marked as uh, already read so um, that's it for this session